This video is made possible by the following cuties. You can check out the gear they provide for me in the description below. So yes, hi guys, Jimmy here, and welcome back to a set of Corsa for another video. And in today's video, we're going to be trying something that I think is pretty cool. We're going to be trying out the newly proposed layout of the Miami Formula One circuit. Now you're probably thinking, but jumble, there's no version, blah, 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 or, or something along those lines. It tends to kind of get that way in the comments sometimes. But this version has been given to me by a fella named Jack, who essentially saw the news of the new track, the new track proposal coming out, and went, I'm gonna make that. And so we did. And here we are on a set of quarter to try it out. Now it seems like the track's been in development for some time now, but this on screen now is the the trap map, the what we kind of expect to see. So it looks very modern F1 circuit is what I can say. But I think the best way of trying it out is getting out there and driving. To do that, I'm gonna be driving Milky Boys and McLaren here. And I'm going to do something that's going to upset Similitus all around the world. And that is, I'm going to drive from TCAM so you guys can see the circuit better. So think before you crucify me. So I don't think there's much more to say. So we're going to get straight into it and get out on track on the Miami Formula One circuit. So here we are on board with the McLaren and we're sitting right now on the start finish straight of this new Miami circuit. So we're going to get straight away into it. I've done a few laps around here. You'll see my ghost go around a bit just to try and learn my way around the track. And here we go then. Down the start finish straight and immediately we're slowed right down for this left-right chicane. Tightens a lot more on the right part. Bit of a hairpin there. Let me get to under the star V6 a bit. Come round for a long sweeping right-hander here. And then just look for our braking markers. Again, we slow it right down. Kind of follow the curves on the inside around a little bit here. Fast chicane. And then we come into this increasing radius corner, which I can't get right for the life of me. Very late turn in there, so my ghost is terrible around there. And on the throttle. And then we get on to something that is, I guess, a bit of a mainstay now on modern tracks, which is a really, really long kind of straight. As we, uh, This is a passing zone. I guess this will be a DRS zone down here. This then comes into a hairpin. We have no markers to break from here, so I'm going to have to kind of guess where to break. We'll try here. Ah, oh, nice. I kind of stop. And this goes into a bit of a twisty section through here, which kind of doesn't feel like the rest of the track. This bit feels a bit out of place as I almost spin through there. Especially this section here. Very, very tight. I have to really crank on the lock to get round. And then we get on to, guess what? Another massive straight. <laughs> this one doesn't even really have any curves in it. So it seems there's a, a big... Uh, a big subject of this circuit of my brain tries to spark into life is these long straights. It's a big feature. There you go. That's the way I wanted. So DRS passes are going to be a big thing around here. Again, into a hairpin because long straight into a hairpin is track design. And then we come through the sweeping section and that's a lap completed. That's a lap of the Miami circuit. We'll try and speed it up a little bit now and see if we can get some better lap time out of it. Again, I'm still quite new to this track. I haven't really uh, done that many laps around here. So learning it at the same time as you are really. A bit weird driving in TCAM too. But again, this kind of strikes me as a circuit where overtaking is going to be fairly difficult outside of the straights, which for me, and I, and I know I'm going to sound like the classic F1 fan where anything new is bad. Old, good, new, bad. That's the F1 fan logic, it seems. But it kind of seems like for a series of... God, I hate this corner. I'm, I'm bad at this, sorry. Um, for a series that is aiming to again have closer racing by introducing ground effects and getting rid of downforce, etc., to then have a circuit which is basically, yo, you can only really use DRS around here anyway. Okay, <laughs> you know, following through here is going to be quite tricky. And through these kind of tight sections through here, unless you really have a run on someone, unless you're, you know, Lewis Hamilton overtaking a Williams, then you're really not going to be able to get past through here. And this corner is horrible. The rear does not like that at all. The car's not really set up at all. It's just on the a baseline setup right now. Like, even though I'm driving terribly, I'm still two seconds up on my ghost. Just shows you how few laps I've had down here. And this long straight, it reminds me of Baku a bit. It kind of forces the teams to run a low downforce setup, really, doesn't it? Otherwise, you're going to end up just pissing time and every time you get to a straight. Yeah, the same time I do like, I kind of like this. This is a, the, the most fun part to drive, this little bit here. And the first section isn't too bad either, actually, but I'm just... I don't know. It's not nice to have another track which is just, hey, big straights, DRS. And that's kind of what this track feels like to me at the moment. Now, unfortunately, I can't 
test AI around here to give you an idea of what it would be like to actually race because they aren't on the circuit yet. But as, I, as Jack said to me in the email, it's a very, very early version of the circuit and I'm very happy that he sent me play of it before it, uh, it kind of progresses further on. He really needs a downforce through here. Let's try and get this corner right. Even then. Yeah, see that it, it kind of, there's two suggestions of turning in there. Oh, I'm in the wall and I've crashed. Good job, Jimmy. Pro driver. But yeah, my great driving aside, I think it'll be a very fun idea to come back to the circuit once we have AI and stuff like that to get an idea of what the racing is actually going to be like. Um, but from a uh, from my point of view, as I guess as a fan, I'm not a track designer. I'm not going to pretend I am. It just seems like it's going to be very much geared towards DRS passes, which... Uh, it's kind of the devil in F1. People like F1, but dislike processional racing. So DRS comes in, people dislike that, <laughs> you know. This goes from bad to worse. We'll try and do one more lap after to actually put in a lap time. But um, otherwise, yeah, I guess highlights for me, it's kind of hard to talk about the track in depth, but highlights for me is probably the first sector and the little twisty bit at the end there. But otherwise, it just feels a little bit standard. It feels like a modern F1 circuit, you know. A modern F1 circuit is what it feels like. Long straight into hairpin, into section where you can't overtake. Or you can't come back at somebody. When does there be a DRS zone down here or not? I imagine there'll be one on the two straights, or two on the straights I should say, but I wonder if there'll be one down the main straight or not. Well, these curves are lethal in this version of the mod, don't touch them. Alright, I've got to try and beat my ghost at least. Please don't judge my driving by the way, it's actually very late right now. I, uh, I slept through the entirety of the day because that's what a filthy YouTuber does. So I'm not really fully awake yet, but that'll be my excuse now. The rear is slippy. Bring it in. Still terrible. There you go, a bit better, a bit better. Still awful, but hey, that... And the thing is, on low downforce as well, if you're going to have to run a low downforce setup around here because of these straights, that's going to be horrible. That's going to be terrible doing that. I don't envy the guys uh, having to attack that. So we're up on our best time, quite considerably, I'd wager, given that we actually made that corner and took some speed for it. Not a lot of speed, but some compared to none is still better. Easy round here. Dab on the brakes. Rear end's very, very light through here, so we're being very easy. So easy to launch yourself over that kerb as well on the right. This feels clumsy through here. I'm not a fan of that. Feels very, um, very like Singapore, that bit. You know, they were coming onto the back straight through there. It feels very reminiscent of that. Where it's a single file onto DRS. Why do I break here? I'm going to try breaking at the start of the curve. That's usually a good marker to start with. Yeah, not bad. Car stopped. And then there you go. So, guys, I think we're going to beat our time. I hope so anyway. I wasn't. I'll well just quit now. There you go. 138.2. Definitely going to be beaten by a lot of people, but... That was the first look, I suppose, at the newly proposed Miami Street Circuit. And it's just, like, average, you know? Like, um, I'm not going to be crazy F1 fan and be like, Oh, it's, I don't like it! It's rubbish! It's not Imola! It's not any of the circuits that I like. But at the same time, like, it just feels so of the time, of the era. Especially the, these two long straights. I understand a lot of it is actually based um, to get around, you know, and to... Uh, have a track around the Miami, uh, all the buildings, whatever, architecture. I don't know what I'm trying to say. My, my brain still isn't working yet. It, it, we're kind of fitting a track around that, but also, yeah, it's uh, yeah, 6 out of 10, 5 out of 10 from me, maybe. But, guys, this will be available, I think, on Race Department fairly soon, so if you want to try it out, then there will be a link below. If it's not available at the time of posting this video, there won't be a link, but as soon as it is, I'll put it there. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe and the bell notification icon, because that way you might actually see one of my videos hit your sub box. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Again, a big thank you to Jack for sending me this over and let me have a try before it went public. And thank you very much to my Patreons and sponsors. Anyway, all that aside, take care, have an awesome day. See you all next time.